What are Rio Thesley Cujo's biggest pros and cons? That's what I'll be teaching you today. Let's get into it. Rio Thesley doesn't really have any set teams, you have to play with him in order to yield out his max value. He's a fairly solid cryo DPS anywhere you put him. You can place him in melt comps, which are decently efficient, and if you pick up Rio Thesley's C1, then you're actually able to melt his cryo hits directly. His cryo application is also good enough to consistently freeze, and by association, this means he's quite solid in mono cryo comps as well. Pretty much anywhere a cryo on a fielder could work, Rio Thesley will work. Because of this, Rio Thesley isn't tied to any specific unit to bring out his highest potential. Much like how Xiao and Wanderer's highest potential is directly tied to C6 Bowerzan, for example. So, this makes him resource efficient too, since you pretty much can slap him with any old unit you've got and he'll make use of them. Of course, be logical about it. I'm looking at you, Shatter! He's much like our sweet goat Ganyu in this regard, being a fairly simple to play and understand cryo DPS that can work in various settings. Plus, being cryo does have its perks. He can drive many teams in general since cryo as an element doesn't grief many reactions. This does have its drawbacks, however, meaning he doesn't really have a team he can directly capitalize on and make the most out of his kit with. As a pretty standard DPS, Rio Thesley is going to scale well with investment. Signature weapon, constellations, really powerful teammates such as Shenhe, and more. You'll find that Rio's C1 really ties together his kit and could potentially be a huge DPS increase for him, fleshing out his base kit at standard. I'd say his C1 is even more important to acquire over Hu Tao's for reference, as his C1 will most likely end up being better for him over his own signature weapon. But that doesn't mean his weapon isn't good either. Some characters have pretty bad sigs, such as Kokomi's Donut and Baiju's absolute abomination of a weapon. Seriously, I'm offended that Baiju would even consider this sig worthy. In Ryo's case, however, his weapon takes good advantage of his kit and can act as a nice boost to his DPS. By the way, if you're enjoying the content, why not consider liking and subscribing, maybe even leaving a cool comment down below. Do so or else you'll be sent to the Fortress of Meropede. Don't say I didn't warn you. Moving on. Unfortunately, despite his kit selling him as a hypercarry unit, Rio Thesley's probably gonna end up having quite mediocre DPS. Thing is, he can be replaced by any of our carry in most of his teams, and those teams might end up doing better without him. His AoE is incredibly low, and because we have so many strong, single target oriented units nowadays, finding a good AoE pick is far more valuable. This wouldn't be as big of a deal if Rio's single target looked promising, but unfortunately it doesn't. He'll for sure be beaten out by the current single target mainstays, such as Hu Tao and Yoimiya, for example. You have to invest far too much into Rio Thesley in order for him to do well at all whereas you can reach quite high single target DPS on other units with much less high end weapons and constellations. This then links into his next issue. Now, let me elaborate. Having no pull value does not mean the kit itself is the issue. It means that other units already complete the roles of said unit far better. Reducing the underdog's pull value, I'd argue that Rio Thesley is unfortunately in this position. Thing is, he makes no meaningful impact on Genshin Impact's meta. At C0, he's really not going to help improve any of your current teams. He's flexible, but to his detriment, he's not best in slot in any scenario you can place him in. 
For example, one of his solid archetypes, Melt, won't even begin to properly function and support Rio Fesley's DPS without his C1. Hu Tao benefits greatly from her C1. Rio Fesley kind of needs it. Because of this, I'd compare Rio Fesley's pull value to the likes of Ayato and Sino, who are in a similar position. With Ayato, he's in a situation where he pretty much works in almost every team thanks to Hydro being his element yet he is best in slot in none of these teams. He can work in Internat. Child beats him. Hyperbloom. Xingqiu and Yolan beat him. In fact, Xingqiu and Yolan kind of invalidate Ayato's existence whatsoever. So while his kit isn't necessarily offensive, it's more the fact that it doesn't do anything of value. Then, for Sino. Once again, his DPS is fine, he performs solidly within his teams, but other units just do his job better. Raiden takes over any need to use him in Hyperbloom, and you can easily use Kaching or Aggravate. So there's pretty much no reason to pull for Sino, even if his kit itself is fine. And much like Rio Thesley, neither of these guys have some kind of truly dedicated support which powers up their specific kit a lot, or a particular team where their kit is absolutely taken full advantage of. No, Yunjin does not count for Ayato, buffing his normals really does nothing for his teams and is actually worse than most of Ayato's regular comps. And yes, Baiju is great for Sino, but his sales are in the toilet, so how many of you even own Baiju? Man, if only they added Star Platinum for Rio Thesley. So, Rio Thesley pretty much has no pull value. If you want a flexible cryo unit who can both freeze and melt, then pull for Ganyu. If you want a cryo unit who is adept in freeze specifically, Ayaka's right there on the table, and she's quite competitive as a DPS in general as well. Cryo in general, as an element, is generally ideal in freeze, but when Ayaka and Ganyu exist, what's the point of pulling for Rio Thesley if you want a single target DPS? You've got much cheaper picks in Yoimiya, and for the more skillful bunch out there, Hu Tao. So, unfortunately, this makes Rio Thesley... Ugh, very, very mid. You'll pretty much only be pulling for this guy if you like him, otherwise he is pointless. I will note that he could absolutely gain a potential upgrade in the future when Farina comes out as it's highly likely that Farina will work well with all sorts of Fontanian units. Perhaps Rio Thesley Freeze does still have a chance after all. Sadly, Rio Thesley is tragically mid. I was hoping for better since, in my opinion, he's one of the coolest dudes in Fontaine. Like the guy looks insane, he owns a jail. But his kit's so bad, it's absolutely going to jail. <sighs> Hopefully this video was able to help you decide whether you'll be pulling for the beastly horse slayer. This has been Juice, signing out, and I wish you all a clean criminal record.